Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Bragg from Braggio. Hello. And Ben from Northern TCG. Hello. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, let's start with Ben. My bed is filled with shit. I have in fact shit the bed. Um, <laughs> I was so confused when you were going with that. <laughs> no, so uh, today of... What happened on Tuesday? I play, I've been switching between Infernoids and... Uh, goblin bike is like kind of on and off between each locals. Um, I changed my goblin biker build today. Really enjoyed the changes. There is still changes I'm going to make for it. Um, going to cut some things, put some other things in. Hopefully, it makes it a lot better. Um, but yeah, on Tuesday I can't remember how that went. Oh yeah, it went fine until I realised that I had for some reason not put the infernoid uh, extra deck monster into my extra deck. <laughs> I just forgot it was there. I mean, you look at it so, and go, oh yeah, this is Snake Eyes extra yeah. deck, that's all I need. Mean. Pretty much, that's what I did. Uh, so at one point, I've like done a little bit of a play, activated Imagination, and then looked at my extra deck and gone, oh, I've now like hard locked myself out of the rest of my turn. So I just lost. Um, and then, yeah, today I played Goblin Biker. I lost to Jake in the final, where I just forgot how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. I just sat down and was like, okay, we've got this. How do I do this again? I set up the shittest board as well. It was so bad. Yeah, he, he set up like garbage and I had like four extenders plus like a one card starter. Mm. And I was just like, how do I play Yu-Gi-Oh? He summoned the big Gabonga and then he forgot. Yeah. Did I just you had... use attack? Did you go to battle phase or something? Yeah, yeah, so I had like three monsters and then e in hand to keep extending. Yeah. And instead of like going the route of making like a uh, big... F zero, because I could like F zero take his shit and then like just attack for game. Mm. I instead went Azura King that didn't have oh, enough attack to attack over yeah, yeah. the card, and I'm just like, cool. Attack make Zeus set back row that I then needed to activate, and then instead I was like Zeus my own back row. No, oh, I just wow. I literally went from being able to do lethal. If not lethal, end on five to six negates. Your brain is just spam tapping and activate like, a Zeus. I nuke my own board. I lose. You'll become Master Jewel Bot. Yeah, pretty much. Where's Lucky Punch? Yeah. Um, Click, clicky button, Ben. I, yeah, I completely fucked it up. And I was like, meh. But the deck's performing very well. Uh, I'm going to probably definitely cut the Burning Abyss stuff. I've had it in there. It's it's just not great. I keep drawing Seer. This is so sad. Yeah, I am. Like, I'm just like, uh, this is the one I'd rather not draw. <laughs> the graph is fine. Yeah. The Seer is not fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's how it's gone. And things were fine. I came second. And then I pulled an ulti econ. Oh. So. Overall, he was the true winner today. Eh. Didn't you already have him? Yeah. Now I've got one to sell. Yeah. Jake's buttering for it. Yeah. Um, brag. Uh, just Master Jewel Jewels Cup still plugging along. Haven't hit twenty yet. Just oh, that's right. You're still on stage one. Yep. Yeah. How good are app crashes? It's great. Yeah, which is why I'm all on mobile now, and I hate the mobile ones so much. But it's the only way to play, so I'll keep going through it. Probably should have a look at the old PC, or I play it on Switch. Can you still do the, the verse console only thing? No, uh, they turned that off. Okay. Mm. No free wins. Yeah. Look, oh well, what do you do? Uh, yeah, just plug it I away. I find the Switch that. controls are fairly easy as well. I've played that game on my phone for so long, I don't know if I'd be able to go back to a PC. Oh, wow, really? I don't think I've played Master Duel not on my phone for maybe a year. The last oh. time I did a live stream, which was when I had COVID. Which huh. was a year and a half ago. I do remember this. This was, yeah. Uh, that was great. I did the live stream and then woke up the next morning and tested myself. And I was like, oh, I'm positive. Just like everyone else at local sick. <laughs> <laughs> Probably due for that soon. It's the time of year. Yeah. When will we get more COVID locals? How about you? Um, my week was all right. Um, so, yeah, I think we were either in the semifinals or the finals on Tuesday. Um, semifinal. Was it semifinal? We I were on so. camera. I think it might. No. Have, I think it was the last. Round. No, no, you were playing down. 
Oh, and that's then right. I won. Yeah, it ended up being the last round because I was playing down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I got turn skipped games one and three, and couldn't really play around that, as most people can. Um, and then today, normal summon Sneak Eyes Ash is turn skip. Who would have known? Uh, and then today, um, yeah, everything kind of just worked out well for me. Uh, first game was against Cash, um, just had the right level of interruption. Uh, second game was, uh, was that Cash? How many rounds did we have today? Four, Four rounds. Um, who else did I have this? I had Marincess, Cyber Dragon, Branded, and then you playing Hawkers. I definitely had two Cash mashups. Both times they managed to banish one of my critical one ofs you from also the deck. You played Kurt at one point? Yes, and I versed Sprite. Yes, that was the other person I versed. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. Wait, you went with Hawkist? I did. Hmm. Hawkist be good sometimes. Um, Evidence. It's right here on the table. It's a gorgeous playmat. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, I was wondering. This is the map you're... from the winner map. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Snake Eyes beating uh, Hawkist. Um, and then, yeah, versus Ben in the okay. finals where he kind of just um, forgot what game he was playing and just kind of put stuff on the board. Yeah. Yeah. What did you get from your hacks? Like I could have even... Oh, garbage. Absolute garbage. Wow. But so I got some stalker, so that's all good. Oh. Uh, and then the plan this weekend was to grind as much of the Duelist Cup as possible. Um, <laughs> last night, however, uh, I had five games in a row where I opened evenly matched and I versed uh, archetypes that had an inbuilt counter trap. Um, and, like, plus their established board. He did post the log. Yeah. Uh, loss, so loss, that, loss, 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 win, loss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that kind of made me, uh, you know, like, I don't know if this happened to anyone else when they were a kid, but like when they're um, in a video game and they're against a really hard boss and you can't beat it, you sort of just put it down for a little while and go and do something else for no. a bit yeah. with maybe the intention of coming back in an hour or two hours. Uh, uh, I specifically <laughs> was about a year, maybe two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've done that as well. To the point where my brain developed more, and then I could go back and beat it. Mm. So yeah, um, I don't plan to leave Master Duel for that long, but yeah, I don't think I'll be doing any more like, Duelist Cup. Brain only going to get oh, really? worse from here, not better from here. Yeah. Oh. Um, it just frustrates me too much, because like, there's that interaction where like they just happen to have uh, interaction for like the thing that you've put in to you just have get to around the other. Dragon prison. Yeah, but then the other thing as well that, again, drives me bonkers about it, and I wish that it wouldn't be the case, is, like, having them drop full board, they ash your maxi, you try to, like, do whatever other disruption you can if you have any, they set a counter trap because it's built into the archetype, and then in the draw phase they drop a maxi on you. It's like, could you fuck right off? So it's like, now, even if I could spend the time to break your board, you're going to have 17 cards in hand, and it's all going to be fucking pointless. Yeah. It's really frustrating. <laughs> I have to get something off my chest. The art for the democ mm -hmm. should be worse. Like, it needs to be grainier. Because, like, the, these four arts are, are like, kind of grainy, and they make makes it look more retro. Whereas this is more pronounced and colourful. Yeah, he's popping there. Yeah, they should have. The blue eyes is popping to some extent. Mm. No, no, like to the point where like they have any. Mm. There's glyphs on the blue eyes. Mm. There's not on the demock. Are we sure there's not, or is it just that because the colour is so dark? No, like no, you there's the white yeah, hieroglyphs. So the, whereas you they see, carry on yeah. to the blue eyes. It goes yeah. over there. It goes over there. But when it comes to there, it just hard yep. cuts behind his knee. Whoever photoshopped this map. Was like, I'm doing great. I'm doing great, and then just switch the layers over here. Like, now, what, what I... it was was um, fucking Jean Claude did all of these, and then he went on leave, and it's like, I'll leave Bob to finish the last yes. one. Well, you know, he had thrown a guardian here originally, and they've come and gone. We're not reprinting that set, you idiot. We're doing Invasion <laughs> of Chaos. Crop, expand, go again. Uh, it's almost like one of our thumbnails. Yes. I hope you enjoyed the contrast work on those. Uh, so yeah, uh, that was my week. Uh, so, moving on to some news. Uh, obviously not much going on with Marcel at the moment. It's all Duelist Cup. Uh, hope anyone who's trying to do well is doing well. Uh, may the counter traps never be drawn against you. I think I was hit DLB Max. Right. Really? I thought you were already there. No, I just kind of stopped when I went to like DLV 15 or something. Oh, okay. This morning I grinded it a bit. I think I hit DLV Max. Because, like, you posted, like, screenshots of you playing, so I just assumed that you were already 
at the max thing. Nah. One thing I did notice that was interesting um, is in previous Duelist Cups, it's just been stored, sort of standard layout. You get your standard mate, you see the name of the person you're versing. Yeah. In deal of like the stage two, when it comes up initially, it just has player versus player and you both just get rescue rabbit mates. Huh. So there's no indication as to who you're versing. Okay. So uh, I don't know if that's like a background thing that some people happen to know what was, other people yeah, are I'm, likely I'm, to play. I'm still too low a level for that. <laughs> it also probably is something to avoid streamers because people are streaming this and... Oh yeah, true, yeah, not to get... Um, like, oh, I'm playing Farpa, off I go! Yeah. Yeah, Rabbit. that's fair. Rabbit's are weird. Yeah, I guess makes sense. Well, Rabbit was the first mate, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Couldn't, oh. couldn't give us that again. Or Cat. Nah, no. Rescue Rabbit. Ash, ash, Ash for everyone. Well, that, it's not everyone. a new mate. They just used the yeah, generic know, mate. Yeah, but they should do the rest of the rescue rock type. They're cool, time. they're cool cards. Next question, Jake. Next. Well, not question. I almost got him. <laughs> I almost got him. Um, so, uh, I think it was either this week or the week before, we got the announcement of Worlds uh, happening over in America this year. Since Seattle. Yeah. Uh, we got a further update, however, that this year... Uh, unlike last year where it was only uh, people in the region that were allowed to participate, uh, this year, no one. <laughs> only the people that are invited to go can go. No it's, spectators, no side events. No, last year you had to be invited to go as well, in Japan. But wasn't it a lottery thing? Uh, it was a, a local lottery only available on Master Duel for people that live within a radius of the venue. Yes, but even if five people went, that's still five more people that are allowed to come to this. Oh, I'm, sure, I'm sure they're going to do the same thing. Well, they've already come out and said no. I thought they said it's closed to the public. So you can't just walk up and walk in. Mm. Well, at any rate, I it'll be interesting to see if they actually do a lottery or whether they're just going to go flat no. No, surely there's something. Even so, we're not getting the big hallmark. Hey, everyone come over here. Let's get a regionals for, like, done for the season, like side events. Like, there will be maybe something, but it's just a big missed opportunity to try and get people in post covid you gear it feels like well, a big a lot, but it feels a bit late like hmm. last year 100 percent understand also the logistics of the logistics between us and ocg i can see why they went that way yeah. here is like come on like come on you can do better the other thing too is it feels like a lot of time and energy spent to create an event and then either letting no one through or letting a very small portion oh, of people through. also on that press release for to say public people weren't allowed it said more information for local players following hmm. okay so yeah at any rate it still doesn't feel great that like they're like oh we're having this thing it's not in japan but uh unless you happen to be in this area you can't go let's be real jake there's less of a chance of me going because it's in america <laughs> Oh yeah, like I have no interest in going to America for anything, let alone for Yu-Gi-Oh. Last year I went to the outside of the venue when I protested Jerome, but this year, just can't do it. Jerome didn't get in the lotto, he wasn't there. Oh, he was there. He was there commenting. Shh, I was joking. I took that last sentence that you just said there to be the... Oh, people playing at their locals. Yeah, like the little yeah. envelopes and the, really? the little show bags that we don't get for five years. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> Maybe more seven. Oh, why am I not wearing the crowns? Oh, because mine is destroyed somewhere. I think I've got one somewhere. Actually, I think you picked up the second one that you gave me, but I don't know what happened to that. That's, I have both. Ah, perfect. Yeah, both should have been in the hotel. Yeah. Lovely. On your pillows with your mints. <laughs> I didn't get mints. What? Well, I guess it's the Ibis. Novotel would have had mints. Yeah, Damn, we're, we're, staying staying <laughs> we're staying on the wrong side. Yeah, we went up the wrong elevator. We went up the vomit elevator. <laughs> Oh, well, that, that you take the Zupa so Dupas over the mints, surely. The Zupa Dupas were good. We should have taken more advantage of those. Next point of news. Next point of news. I just want to raise a point of news because I doubt we're going to cover this. Um, they announced the playmat for uh, World Championship Qualifiers for those attending. I can't remember what it was. It's the Tempai Dragon playmat. And it ah, looks that's right. really good. And based on that news. <laughs> it looks good enough for Ben to make a trip to New Zealand. We'll see what happens. Maybe. 
So, uh, in the uh, OCG for their Chronicles Century set, uh, they've been doing a lot of the alt art reprints of staple cards that have a archetype tie-in. Uh, the latest of those has just been announced, and it is Harpy's Feather Duster. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, if you haven't seen the artwork, uh, it's basically Harpy Lady number one, I think, specifically. Give it a little. Uh, yeah, using the Duster. Oh, yeah, it is too. Yeah. Why don't I put that together? Yeah, because it got the armor. Yeah. And the hair. Or is it Cyber Harpy Lady? Is it Cyber? Maybe it's Cyber. Does Cyber Harpy Lady have pink hair? Or is it the Synchro? No, it's not the Synchro. Okay. Or the Dancer. No, it's not the Dancer. It's Prince. Oh, first time I've actually seen it, like, without huh. the shit on it. Yeah. It looks busy. Yeah. Well, it's not in Ben's bed then, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That, was, that feels unnecessary. <laughs> ben has not wedded a harpy lady. <laughs> anyway, uh, so uh, following that news, uh, it's likely that that card will be included in our 25th anniversary tins. Uh, these ones are called the Dueling Mirrors. Uh, so the press release basically lets us know what sets are going to be in there. It's, hints yeah. of... it's like the mirror of unity and power. <laughs> yeah. Don't be um, worse. So yeah, uh, within the first sort of things, we get the hint that they're just going to put the um, it's unity, unity and, and... It's not power. What's the other one? Pride. 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 There we go. Sorry. Unity I associated and... Kyber with power and not pride. Uh, but yeah, those cards are going to be in there, so we'll likely get these alt hearts Should put we get in a, there. a unity reprint? Surely. <laughs> like, they can't call the... They, they can't call unity, the set not unity and not put unity, unity in there. That would make how it legal for us. How upset? Oh. Wait, what? Is Unity, Unity not legal, not legal outside of North America? Oh, It was a jump Christ. promo that never got a reprint. Huh. Same with uh, Yujo Friendship. It yeah. is a legal card to play outside of North America. I'm sure we got Yujo Friendship reprinted. I'm sure we did. Or am I thinking a different card? Or am I thinking the symbol of friendship? I don't know. Wait, your well, Yujo could... price still works? Yeah, yeah he, hasn't, he hasn't gotten the, the, oh, the, yeah. the f mandated update. Yeah, so if you upgrade your phone, you lose that. Yeah. Oh, no. You could never, ever get YG prices back ever again. The death of App Average. I missed when they had the dueling emul emulator that you could um, get through the App Store. It was a while ago. I... Wait. Like, just for iOS, right? No, no, it was on um, Samsung's and stuff as well. This was years and years ago. I think, like, the most recent um, things that had in there was Hat. I think that's as modern as it got. Huh. Oh, that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. That was great. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, I kind of got sick of installing random apps because it's just... I'm never going to use them. Yeah. Um, so with the Goodbye, breakdown, uh, the tins will still have three packs. Um, five cards. <laughs> 405 cards. Yeah. 400. Yeah. Which is surely more than the years. So they're going to also do the other bonus prints and the 50 QCRs and whatever the hell else. So they're yeah, doing. Uh, so three packs per tin. Yeah. Uh, each pack will come with one quarter yep. century, three prismatic secrets, uh, three ultras, and the rest commons. The three quarties is. They're. they're... Remember at the start when we were like, quarties are going to be fine as long as they don't overprint them. A year later, they're like, we're going to print a set with 80 Quartzy Razies in it. And then we're going to print the Mega Tins and you're going to get one in every pack. Just on that, if they do, in fact, decide after, I don't know, the 4th anniversary or the 25th anniversary, to go back to Starlights, would that not just be the most popular set ever released because people get to see a slightly less shiny but far more desirable card in the set again? Maybe. Maybe. I imagine they'd do it again with the Duelist. Like they started with the Start Duelist. With the green set. pack? Yeah. Green pack equals busted. Probably. They'll just make up another one. It'll be the return <laughs> of Ghost Rares. Oh, God, I hope not. I hate Ghost Rares. I like Ghost Rares. No, I'm indifferent. I'm not about them. Uh, but anyway, this is going to be releasing on the 18th of September. It's late this year. It does feel quite Do late. You remember? I feel like they're getting later and later every year. Yeah. 
and worse. Yeah. Couldn't they bump up to five packs? Like, come on, at this point, I'm paying 50 bucks for a 10. Wait, it's four packs? It's three, isn't it? I was gonna say, I thought it was three, yeah. <laughs> I want yeah. it to five. I want one pack per $10. Also, like, if you're gonna put quarter century rares and 50 of them, like, can there just be like a thing of promos? Like, can we not just get three of them guaranteed? Hmm. Because with 50 or, quarter century rares, or, three no. per tin, you're just not going to see anything good. So yes. again, just further down the line of it's not worth buying sing yes. like the tins anymore. You're just worth buying the singles. Yes. Which then makes it feel real shit if you're a supplier. Yes. Because you have to pre-order the product because you want to be able to have it. And then you end up having them sitting there until February of the next year after. Until yes. you put them on special and people actually buy them. Yes. We haven't even addressed the cost as yet. Uh, so in America, they're currently at twenty nine, twenty one ninety nine per tin. Oh, oh not, wait, yeah. So that's, that's not yeah. Price. All right, cool. Yeah, whatever. But still, could be better. Could, could be, be better. Could be worse. I'm paying money for cardboard. Just give me more. Two. Radio collection two is absurd. Yeah, that's. I wonder what's going to be in it. We'll get there. We'll get there. It's going to be worse than Rarity Collection 1, Has and it's be. going to be double the price, which was already double the price of what our packs normally were. They don't have to double anyway. up and put stuff from 1 into 2. There's no way. Oh, yeah. There's no way we don't see another duality. It's going to have to be like the old hearts, like Feed Ash and shit. Next question. Well, you, uh, wait, no, because we're getting those in Rarity Collection. Oh, no, not the Feed Ash. Ugh. Surely we're getting Feed Ash in Rarity Collection. Surely. Maybe, maybe that's the card that'll be like so the... Yeah, as much they, as it makes me sell the Ill, set. yeah like imagine being the person that has to post on facebook looking for quarter century feet ash you just get put on a list they better get put on a list <laughs> uh moving on though uh so we've got uh a bit more news about the uh, va uh what's it called again value book i think the the law book um <laughs> yeah no that's just a thumbnail um, so we get some more archetypes that are announced for its release. So we're getting lore stories on Sinful Spoils, uh, the End of Visus line, because apparently we have all those cards, but no idea what happened to it. Uh, Centurion, Valmonica, Vanquished Soul. Uh, Nouvelle, the uh, evil dinner archetype. Uh, Voiceless Voice, Gold Pride, Memento, Nemrelia, and Aroma. Uh, as well as some more. Um, so much. Yeah. Uh, what were the other ones? Uh, we're getting some more about uh, Infernoid Ritual Beast Ice Barrier and Genix as okay. well because okay. of the increased cards that they have in the Terminal World Pack. Yep. Uh, we're getting the story behind uh, IP and SP. Okay. Um, apparently uh, Typhon is being a bit more explained now. We'll get to know if he's officially an anti-Zeus card even though that was hinted at in the... Yeah, they fight in the anime. Yeah. The anime that we don't have yet. And we might not get. There's still time. There's a 21% chance we can get it. Do we get it before 30 years? <laughs> Probably not. Definitely not. Uh, Promethean Princess, the one card archetype, is getting her lore explained. Yeah, I wonder what they'll tie into it, if Throwing anything abyss. at all. There once was a princess. She was thrown into a volcano. She came back out. She was angry. Yeah, and, and then like, the burning abyss showed up, and Dante was there, and it was cool. I, I should really look into Prometheus stuff. The actual Prometheus, not you know the Ridley Scott movie. That's getting a sequel. Really? Yeah. Trailer came out the other day. It is in the Aliens universe, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. It sets up the the trilogy where they've gone. Oh, no one went and saw this. We'll call it Alien. Ah. The sequels are just called Alien now. <laughs> Uh, and then finally, Spiral, Time Thieves, and Sinful Spoils. Okay. And I've said this before and I'll say it again. I wish that they would print these in English. Um, in fairness, Wajiorg usually does do, like, a translation. Mm. But, as Bragg has pointed out before, translations sometimes... Yeah, they, they hit and miss. You just go to read. You just, you just go, like, hit up different sources. No. DM a Japanese friend. The usual. Yeah. Make, he must be sick of me. He must be sick of me. Uh. <laughs> Make friends with a Japanese. Sorry, we family. have a baby deer in our living room, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Better than the seal in the bathroom. Kurt's feeling horny. <laughs> anyway, um, 
we get a, a few V-Jump promos uh, from a few different places. Uh, one of the more prevalent ones is uh, Galaxy Wardrake. We don't know its effect yet, but we do obviously know that it's a Galaxy card, level 4. Uh, judging purely on the look of it, it's going to be a dragon. Um, so this one what if it's a worm? says yeah. it will have a special <laughs> feature. Oh, and yeah, they're going to bring out some more information about the two Galaxy Eyes archetypes that are coming out in the Brilliant uh, Light Set or whatever the hell it's called. Galaxy Duelists of Brilliance. Yeah, there's two Galaxy Eyes users, so they're going to, once they announce the V-Jump promo and what it does, they're going to give us more information about what that archetype is going to be Didn't like. Didn't know there was two Galaxy Eyes users. Yeah, yeah. I told you last week. Yeah. One nicks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and the, um, the, I always forget his name, but he always nicks Kite shit. Kite nicker. Nani? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Jake got cancelled. I know what I said. It's not what you think. Anyway, uh, and then we get the uh, set spoiler for Speed Duel GX Midterm Destruction. Um, there's no easy way to break this down. Uh, the easy way to break this down is to read the next news story. Um, yeah. the... Like this, yeah, the speed duel aspect is seemingly shit. No Europe release, so I imagine they're winding it down over there. Putting Dandy in the set's pretty wild. <laughs> yeah, like uh, this. Hmm? I don't know. Oh, it just seems like Edison Bay. Yeah, it definitely is. And at the same time, that Dandy map does look really nice. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but that's a for US release only, right? Yeah, everything's US release only. How fun! Uh, looking forward to seeing what the other secret bump ups will be. There's a couple. There's a couple of cards now I'd appreciate the secret of Sakurai's armor. Oh, Divine Wrath gets a secret rare. That's cool. Wait. Oh, that. So Divine Wrath's confirmed for that. Yeah, that's what, that's what it says here. Oh. Because yeah, we only know what the YouTube has pulled. Once again, mystical space typhoon secret. He's right here. Give him. He's. He could be your number one speed jeweler if you want him to. Giving, yeah, I giving, can do so much speed dueling. Giving speed jewel product to jewels that have like never cover it is also kind of a kick in the nuts to some of the people that do cover it. Which we're not here, but they are. They're they're out there. I watch them from time to time. Their views are quite low, but they try and they care about the game. Maybe giving them some love. Yes. Or just go for Edison bait and just get people to try and get into it. What do I know? Three zone Edison. Yeah. With skill cards. Um, I'm just having a read of these other V-Jump promos. I don't know if any of them are particularly good. Infernity get another card. That's cool. Um, oh, the Infernity card is, like, rubbish. I started reading it, and it's like, if this is in your graveyard, banish it, and then target... I'm like, oh, this could be anything. And no, just change the attack of a card on the field. No, it's... Um, banish one dark monster from your graveyard, target one dark monster you control. It can attack directly this turn. Mm. It's even worse! Yeah, it's awful. <laughs> it's real bad. Uh, and then uh, Fire King get a new card, kind of. Oh. It's Fire King by name, but its uh, effect has little to nothing to do with Fire King. It's more of a um, Red Dragon Archfiend card, because it's a level 3 uh, Fiend tuner. Oh. Recently? It just happens to have an effect. Uh, no, it's not a rekindling target. Uh, it just has an effect uh, when it's destroyed. Uh, target a face up monster your opponent controls or loses 400 attack into the end of the turn. Oh, it must be. Yeah. Ugh. Why do they make these cards so shit? Mm. Anyway. In V jumps, I guess. If they make good good cards in V jumps, we all get mad. So they make bad it's ones. true. Yeah. They have had a good history of making bad V jumps for a while now. I appreciate it. it means we, as Australians, don't miss out. True. Uh, moving on we to just open it up to let everyone get video. No, 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 no. As you said, America gets everything. Yes. Uh, so moving on to questions. If you weren't aware, we do have a uh, Discord link. Will be in the America description below. Japan. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. You missed V jump and show and jump. Hmm. Huh? Nothing. First question this week comes to us from Jesse. Actually, the next two questions after this also come from Jesse. Hi, Jesse. <laughs> Uh, for each of you, when playing a deck in general, what would be the ratio of you for fun to toxic wins that would make a deck enjoyable slash not? Uh, he's mentioned that obviously I don't particularly like Puppet, but Ben uh, loves Protoss called Dark. Uh, Bird Corner liked Statue when it was legal. And 
Okay. Um, as is tradition. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I just don't do the straight arm because that has <laughs> connotations. Oh, go off, Jake. You're already there. <laughs> yeah, you already got most of the way there. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, How does he? He goes loud as well. I'll be afraid of my vocal cords. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Anyway. Baby bird. It. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, so. Care to answer the question? Uh, Ratio. I don't know why I like decks. Like, there'd just be some decks I'll go, I like this. And others don't. Normally, Whether or not. Yeah. Normally I like decks because I make up the fact that I like the deck. And then the joke just becomes that I like the deck. And then I actually like the deck. That's that how I sense. end up playing certain decks. That makes sense. Yes. Uh, yeah, so it can be toxic as anything, it can be poo, it can be whatever, I don't know. Wait, if I have a deck that is already a good deck, and there is at some point I can push the button that says I have won the game and you cannot change the, your, the decision, I will play that deck. Yeah. It has to be a good deck though. Like, Sword Soul in that format, where I just Protoss Call Dark, was fantastic. Like, it was already a great deck, and then I could just Protoss Call Dark. It didn't help that, like, Branded and DPE were, like, the other big decks in the format. So it's like, oh, we can't summon anything. <laughs> uh, for me, it is, like, an archetypal thing. Like, it'll just be, like, a particular mechanic that I enjoy. Or it'll be, um, like, sometimes even just the, like, lore. I think that's how I ended up liking August in the end. So I'm like, the story's sick. Don't, and... I don't want to talk about that. We had this conversation today. I don't talk about Orcus Law. I wasn't there for that. Why did Orcus? We were playing when I had when I said this. I don't remember you saying this. Don't worry, then. continue. Uh, so we yeah, we want we on feature. No, it's Sunday. No. Yeah, no feature. Well, sorry, we don't we don't get that. Discussion. I don't I don't win on features. <laughs> ben puts me on exclusively to lose in the most embarrassing ways possible. Um, so yeah, it just depends on what the decks like sort of vibe is i guess with as vague as that sounds um but yeah actually looking back on it i have like some really cancer archetypes but generally speaking they've been pretty bad um like uh amorphage was a classic like its entire thing was like every card's a floodgate in some capacity mm -hmm. but it's it really was hard summoning to... the floodgate <laughs> yeah it was really hard to pull off so if you got it you deserved it but it was real hard. <laughs> well, as you remember those restrictions. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, next question from Jesse is ban list. Yeah. When? when? How? Why? We're doing this? Do we want to try and guess the OCG one? That comes out tonight, yeah? Tomorrow. Okay. Um, top clock's ticket. I thought it was going to be Sunday night their time. I think it's going to be a... This can, this ban list for them is going to be a fucking slaughter. Which it should be. How would you slaughter their... I think that they're not going to be playing anything Snake Eyes related anymore. We're probably also going to see a hit to Voiceless Voice. Yeah. Um, we, we're not going to see a hit to Tempai Dragon. Surely not. Uh, um, maybe. Surely not. What's that, Peruse? Uh, yeah, look. We haven't seen any more support coming out for Tempai, right? Yeah, but yeah, well, we still. Like, it's just a one archetype set. Like, that's that's their lot. That playmat's so nice. You should look up that playmat. I, I saw it. I just couldn't remember it's when you were talking about it initially, what you were talking about. Does the Viking element get it cop any strays? Yeah. Surely not. Yeah. Like, I think Viking like, operating outside of the Snake Eyes engine would be a perfectly fine deck. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I think they're going to hit it. Like, I maybe Kirina 1? Yeah, I think Kirina 1. Um... They probably gonna be like Kieran a one, uh, wanted poster to one, um, probably Poplar or Ash to one, probably Ash going to one. Yeah, I definitely think I it's think even, Ash is a chance for us. I think if you want to go even further, Flame Burst to one, Flame Burst should go to one. Flame Burst to one would make me cry. <laughs> I love that snake. It seems like it's the kind of thing that's like it's a drag. Flame Burst to one doesn't do that much. It looks pretty like a snake to me. It has snake eyes. But it's a dragon. But it has snake eyes. It doesn't have wings, does it? I mean, all dragons have snake eyes. They're all the same. They're all worms. <laughs> Lizard, innit? 
Worms. <laughs> Things I learned on the magic school Worm. bus. <laughs> Did they go up someone's butt one time? Almost certainly. I don't think they went. Or was that like a meme? Frequency I think it's a meme. On the magic school bus. I could swear I remember them being in someone's body and I hated it. They were in the body, but I don't think they went through the sphincter to get there. What hell else do you get in? I know about no other ways. Um, Spring rolls included. <laughs> next week we're going to do probably a full fan list episode. But... Yeah, um, basically, I, I don't know what the other's thoughts are, but I want to see what the OCG do to sort of get hints. I don't think we're going to get a ban list for a while. I don't think we're going to get a ban list until, like, end of April, start of May. Well, we're meant to be safe for... I mean, in theory, we could get it from next Sunday, right? Because they said no sooner than months. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so, a few months from now. So, so again, purposely will... vague. Yeah. It's funny. Other than, like, the Eternal ban list, they've been relatively regimented with them since then. Like, there was that nine months where Sky Striker wouldn't fuck off and die. And then since then, it's been somewhat regular. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I trust this shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, Family's a while away, but we'll talk about it next week. Yeah. Tune in! Yes. Uh, and then, question from Jesse again. Uh, why do all the YouTubers think they won't hit the expensive deck? It seems like Cope. I get it's Nat season, but surely with Tenpai and Lightsworn coming out, Banning fire would be a huge push to their product and great for finances. I just think it's too early to hit fire. Is it? Like, we've only had proper fire for two months. I think it's too early to, like, whack whack it. Like, kill yeah. it. I think there's going to be a few limits. Guessing those limits is going to... Like, may, right, maybe one They're limit definitely not tops. limiting one... They're not, lim they're not limiting poster or Diablo Star. Yeah. 100%. Your issue is you need to sell wanted poster and Diablo Star <laughs> in the Megatins. And then the flip side to that is you just Less. printed the other shit, mm. so it's like, oh, they've done, they've done, def they've definitely done like, oh, print it in a super rarity, hit it after a month. Like, if we get a ban list in May, I can maybe see this happening, but I think Ash being limited yeah. is up for. We'll get to it next week. Okay, so. The other thing they could do is rather than waiting for the tins to reprint, they could just whack it in Battles of Legend. Or rarity collection. Or rarity collection. Do we even need a ban list? Yes. Why? Calamity. Limit flame burge. Ah. Coaster just said limit flame burge like he didn't listen to what I said five minutes ago. Um, also, sh D shifter can, like, go away. Like, <laughs> if we get a ban list, I can very much just see that's what we get. We get a hit to puppet lock, we get a hit to calamities, we get a hit to shifter. At which point, fire just gets even more busted for that season. Hence the reason why I'm like, do we even need a ban list? Yeah, everything's kind of... Everything's kind of designed around how they want the game. Yeah. Like, they made all these fire decks, they pump Promethean Princess, they make the other ones that kind of counter it. Yeah. This is like the perfect... Have, have they made a counter? Cash is still fucking crazy with Shifter. I yeah, would... but that's the Voiceless only, voice that's can the kind only of reason, tat. That's the only reason that... Um, cash is good in this format is purely because you can just go, you have no gravy after yeah, two turns, have fun. Know, those cards seem well, pretty good. I would take a ban list that's just all the dragon rulers are now at three. And King we'll Calamity continue to, on and, for the and King Calamity to zero. Actually, I, no, you need to give Centurion the win con as well. I've been thinking of ways to actually like make dragon ruler work when they finally bring the last one off the ban list. I genuinely think it's just played with cash. Yeah. They're sevens. They have the Normal matching attributes. Normal blaster. Pass. What if they're of the same lore? We just didn't see it. Uh. No. What if the cash tiers are fighting the dragon lords? I. Okay. So a they don't. B I really. Well, I really appreciate that you're trying with lore. I'm just. But saying, no. They all have like the main deck monsters are the ben, attributes. Ben. It's fine. No. It's okay. And then their boss wants to banish us, stopping the Dragon Lords. I figured it out. <laughs> no. This uh, is exactly how all other Yu Gi Oh! lore gets thought of. Someone just goes, Ah, oh, yes, I looked at the picture. The picture told me this. Yeah, but there's Off been no go. pictures of Dragon Lords and Kashtira together. We gotta look at the attribute check and the levels. 
Like you're getting It's in the numbers, you're, Jake. You're getting to it's conspiracy the theory string on the board fucking no. into law. Like, Those laws make sense. Moving on. Next question is from 6R6. Uh, what do you want to see reprinted in Rarity Collection 2? Cash Chira, so that I can play it with my Dragon Rulers. The Dragon Rulers? Imagine I that. I the Dragon Rules ever need to be reprinted. No, I want Quartzies of them. Oh, yeah, true. That'd be nice. I would like some foils that don't taco. Supers of the babies. Oh, well, <laughs> Rarity Collection is not for you. Oh, <laughs> have you seen original Dragon Rules? Have you yeah. seen Quartz of Rares? Yeah, no, that's fine. The, the originals it, are bad. If you can put Quartz of Rares in a sleeve and they won't taco. <laughs> it's like the same. You can put Dragon Rules in a sleeve. Your sleeves now are also taco. <laughs> the old Super Tin Maxes had the same problem, too. Yeah. They were shit. Same as Upstarts. I, that, so. I have play sets of rares for all of the Dragon Rulers and then the secrets as well. Just because I'm like, if I'm going to leave them sitting in a deck, I put the rares in. Yeah. Just because the rares aren't going to taco. What do you mean? What's the problem with having uh, five or six cards in your deck just going blip? <laughs> the issue is they also taco different to cards today. So they target in a, the opposite direction. Oh, that's dumb. Yeah. When you pull them in a taco, that's the one I have issues. Like, you should be able to play it as, like, this is literally how I got it from the pack. It's your problem. Yeah. It's because they were Megatin promos. They weren't sitting in a pack. They were just, like, Loose. in the fucking tin. Yep. Cooking in... I was going to say, sitting on the top of a fucking yeah. freight boat from Belgium, just heating up in the sun, possibly falling off the boat at some point. Uh, listeners might have uh, noticed that I went to say both pronunciations of aluminium. I went, I love, 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 aluminum, <laughs> aluminum. <laughs> ah, well. Um, cards I'd like to see print, printed. Um, I think more goat and Edison staples, like we brought this up before, could be in this or even in Dragons of Legend or in a like they need to be done because if you're we, promoting we these events at your YCSs, you need to be able to give support to the people that want to play so, that haven't been playing for ten years. Having gone back and watched all of, at this point, like, I, I really want to give the guy a plug, but I can never remember the name of his channel. The guy that does the recap of each year of Yu-Gi-Oh! They're all mm -hmm. missing context as well, by the way. Yeah, but, like, in those videos, whenever it comes up, they did a reprint set, like, retro pack and things, and they're like... Uh, and then they reprinted a bunch of band cards yeah. for, like, unknown reasons. If those reprints didn't happen today, all those card prices would be fucked. Yeah. Like... Thank God they did those random pointless reprints. Those Otherwise, dark beginnings really hold up. Yeah, right. we would not be getting anything anymore. It'd all be so expensive. But I feel like they almost need to do that again. Because well, they definitely do. Well, uh, rare, well this is what the rarity collections itself are meant to be, yeah. but they just keep cycling in the same shit. Yeah, like the last one was great for the current format. There was a bunch of stuff in there that current players needed at a lower rarity. It made the game more accessible on that level. So I feel like there needs to be a set for the other side of things, for Edison, for Goat, I and think just for older cards in general. They where... should just literally do Retro Pack 3. Wait, wait we stopped at Retro Pack 2, yeah? Mm. They should just do Retro Pack 3, print everything that's a staple from 2002 to 2000. 12, you may as well. Yep. Like, if, if you, you extend it out, do some Tengu plant reprints in there. Like, sure. And if you had, like, um, a decent price on it, and, like, even just, like... Even if you just did it all in Ultra, yeah. I think it would still sell. I, I don't even think you need to do that. I think you could print them as fucking commons and the set would sell. Because yeah. people love sure. old Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like, casuals will buy this pack. No questions asked. This sell set would sell itself. Like, look at this. Like, you can't buy this this anywhere this locally anymore. Retro Pack 3, yeah. I had to yeah. import our boxes to yeah. be able to do Draft Tournament. God knows how far... I think these three are easy, but I haven't seen much of this floating around. Um, but Yeah, when it came to, like, Retro Pack openings when they did the reprint, this was, like, the Chase one yeah. and um, Pharaoh Servant. Yeah. You just put Dad and um, Judgment Dragon on the front. Off you go. Yeah. I don't know, too. You can print... So much shit. You can reprint bloody Glad Beasts. Like, I would take a 400 card reprint set of just every card that was played in the meta in every, like, major meta for a 10 year period. Yeah, not. It would be insane. Not of the, you know, the last year of stuff that we just have lying around. Yeah. Look, I think that was needed. 
like Barone's tactics, thrusts. And oh, stuff. I'm talking about the tens. Yeah. Oh, the tens, no. Oh no, rarity collection one was fine. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's what best I would set like of the year. See. Right. No. <laughs> Bring, give us retro pack three. Set the best set of last year. Yeah, I said the year. Retro pack three. Yeah, you just didn't say I, which year. I also would like to say that I've just gotten on my high horse and talked about how we need retro pack three. I would not play any of the cards that they reprint. Oh, God. <laughs> just because they'd be reprinted in, like, the new foils. And I'm not about that. I would just buy the old shit. But, see, that would still be a benefit for you. Because if the they've reprinted it... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But I'd still just play the old cards. You wouldn't catch me dead playing the new stuff. I'd go for the new stuff all the time. Oh, um, Give me that cheapies. <laughs> um, and then last question. Oh, did you have more? Yeah, no. It'll wait. When we get the cards, I'll rant about them then. Last question is again from 6R6. Where do you sit on the spicy food scale? Able to eat five alarm since and chili like it's nothing, or black pepper is too spicy? I'm about to make uh, very spicy burgers for the boys, so they're going to find out. I like spicy food. Uh, my white heritage uh, had Kurt me doesn't like spicy limping. Foods. I'll, no. make, I'll make Kurt's not as spicy. Yeah, just, just put pepper on his. That'll be enough. Um... <laughs> And DC's in his water. Um, Man's not about the jalapenos and chili salt and fucking. Oh god, I love chili salt. Uh, I know you don't want to hear this, but um, when Chico's was open, RIP, um, I used to like f- so love when they put the chili salt on my chips. It was so good. And then no one else in the office would steal my chips either because they're like, oh, potato it smells chili spicy. salt. So good. Um, I also the waiting potato now is the eating while you're driving home potato. Yeah, I mean you're waiting to get home. It's the same. Um, when <laughs> I think the last time that I went with like some of these boys to um, Indian, they did like the uh, funny thing of like, oh, four white boys that walked into an Indian restaurant, you're getting butter chicken, yeah? And I'm like, no, I'll have vindaloo. Fuck you. <laughs> don't make assumptions about what I want to eat. I went, yeah, sure, I like butter chicken. I like yeah. butter chicken too. I just don't like to be assumed that because I'm white, I can oh, only have butter chicken. Also, yeah. Jake, Jake doing his fucking on a pedestal. Uh, he went and paid for a full price meal and I got the lunch special. I was like, lunch special butter chicken. Is this one? Hmm? Yeah, but back when it was thingy. Back when uh, it was mangits and not whatever it is now. I see. It's so garbage. Yeah. I don't hate it. For it's a lunch, trash. For a lunch special, chicken. I think it's fine. Like, I'm having to pay 12 bucks for a basic thing. Maybe the lunch special that I had, like, I went there, like, when it switched to being ACs, and it was trash. I'll just go to Aldi. Just deal with it. It literally tasted the same as if you bought a microwave butter chicken. Yeah. Yeah, I think you got ripped. Mine was not that bad. It was horrendous. Uh, I like a bit of the chili, but some, they can beat me. There's a few times where, like, it's... You, the tears come out or whatever but it takes a lot oh, like get, it gets the sinuses and stuff going yeah like i like, don't think i've like, oh, no, literally I'm... cried for a while it was balinese spice magic in wollongong really nice really spicy but as the name suggests weirdly delicious like my nose will run regardless of what food i eat <laughs> so like <laughs> you should probably see a doctor about that yeah it has something to do with like when i chew it makes my nose run um but when I'm like having like something that's not spicy and someone be like, I can't handle your spice. And I'm like, this is normal for me. Like, it's just how, what happens when I eat. And it's like, no, I, I am actively eating it. I'm enjoying this. I'm handling it. It's just the body's going to do what the body's going to do. <laughs> <laughs> that will conclude us for today. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. Uh, if you are watching along on YouTube, feel free to like and subscribe. If you're listening along, uh, feel free to favourite. Did we get results of the poll from last week? No. Disappointing, guys. No, no, it wasn't on them. Uh, Spotify, when I upload on a client, it's technical stuff. Do we have a possible question for this week, or are we going to uh, forego could, that? We could go Spice. I, I... Rarity Collection 3. No, yeah. sorry. Retro Pack 3. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, are we doing the OTS thing now where we have, we get the next one first before we've got the first one? Yeah, could be Retro Pack 3. What should we, what should we be in Retro Pack 3? Uh, what format would you like to see in Retro Pack 3? Thank you all very much for listening and watching. We'll catch you next week. Peace. Bye.